talk about the backend development, talk about the modern web development, talk about the web development for beginners in 2017. You asked it, you got it. Hi there, this is Hitesh, your programming friend, and in today's video, we are going to talk about the complete backend development. And in fact, rather, I would like to say that this is going to be a guide for complete modern backend development in 2017. Now, obviously, this video is going to stand up in the future as well because this is kind of a modern approach and walking you through with the backend development. Now, there are two approaches that we are going to follow up for the backend development. The number one approach in which I'll walk you through and I'll just guide you what are these things and what you need to learn for the modern backend development, how it goes, how it starts, what are the technologies that you need to learn and all these things. The second approach is rather far more convenient in which I'll not only walk you through, I'll show you how exactly everything is being done, including uh, the basics, the programming knowledge, the projects and everything in just one click and I'll worry about everything. So let's get started with all of these things in this video. Backend development is really an awesome thing. And in fact, I got started as a backend development too. Now, it is really a positive journey, journey that I'm following up in here because uh, usually people get started with the front end development and after that they move on into the back end. But I actually started uh, the opposite way and I got started with the back end and it's really awesome. Now, I won't be telling you that, hey, just learn the PHP and you will be done with the back end development because, of course, you are not here for that. You want much more detailed explanation. And of course, it's 2017. Learning just the PHP won't do the job. Now, of course, I'm not saying that PHP is completely old school, uh, but it's really, really getting old there. Now, of course, this doesn't mean it's not going to do the job. It can do, jo do the job really perfectly and finally. But since you had a beginner still in 2017, uh, that, that gives you a question that should I be getting started with the modern technologies or really the old school, the stable ones? Now, I would say go ahead, get started with the modern ones. Now, switching from the modern ones into the PHP is pretty fairly easy. And uh, if you're looking up for a good, a good programming job in the backend area, you should be getting started with the modern days technology, okay? So let's first get started what is actually the guide to get started in backend development in 2017. Now, I won't be telling you learn Ruby, I won't be telling you learn Python, or I won't be telling you learn ASP.NET or PHP. I would say you already know JS, that it's okay. If you don't know JavaScript, get started with that. And that's it. Now, in the 2017, JavaScript is doing a way lot more than it was originally being designed for. And it is completely used in the front end side and the back end side as well. Now, when we talk about the database technologies, there are three essential components. I'm not saying these are only three essential components, the three essential components that every back end system should follow up. Now, first to go hand in hand, and the last one, again, it's important. Now, the first one is uh, the restrictive pages and the login system. Now, for any modern uh, backend development uh, developer or backend technology, I expect that this should be the bare minimum basics. The restrictions of some pages which user can only see after login. And of course, a login system is also required. Now, this login system can be via simply email and password or can be uh, followed up with a mixture of technologies like uh, login with Twitter, login with Facebook, login with uh, Google accounts and a lot more there. So these are two very essential that I look up if you are becoming a backend developer. These are the two very essential thing that you must have. Now the third one, again, it's important one is connectivity with the database. Obviously, we might want to store tons of things in the database for the persistent storage. So these are the bare minimum, bare basics that every backend developer should learn. So going with further, now JavaScript was not actually being designed in the first case to handle all these things at server side. But now with the recent implementation of the JavaScript, for example, React and Node.js, now JavaScript is completely able to do so. And for me, if you ask me honestly there, I say that it, it doesn't make sense to learn hundreds of programming language to just do different kinds of jobs. For example, for front end, it's a jQuery, JavaScript, for back end, it's PHP, ASP.NET, Python, Ruby. It doesn't make sense to me. There should be a lot more simplicity for the programmer so that he can focus more on designing the concept itself rather focusing on learning the syntax and everything. And JavaScript is able to do all of these things. Now, for a modern backend developer, I also expect that these are the bare minimum basics, but apart from that, I expect him to deal with some kind of modern databases as well. 
Now, one of these things is MongoDB. Now, I'm not saying this is the only guy in here, but this is rather more popular. And of course, you should have some basics of MySQL, but if you don't have that, it's also going to work okay as well, because we're talking about the modern things in here. And for a modern uh, backend developer, MongoDB is one of the things that you should be looking up for learning all these things. Now, apart from that, since uh, you might be learning or getting a job into some high-end company or high-end startup as well, and these days startups use a lot of uh, complete online dedicated backend services as well. One of the great names in such thing is Firebase. Now, yes, there are competition with the parse as well, which you can host on Amazon web servers, but let's talk about that in some other video. Right now, Firebase is the most popular thing in here. So every backend developer is expected to have little bit amount of knowledge how to deal up with the database of the Firebase, how, can, how he can store images and audio on the Firebase, as well as to apply some login system as well. Now, another important aspect of modern era of kind of a startup thing is Auth0 as well. Now, Auth0 is a service that simplifies your login system. Login with the Google accounts, Firebase, or inter integration with the Firebase, or maybe accounts login with the GitHub, Twitter, Facebook, Google accounts, and whatever you can think of. So these are few essential things that you might want to learn up with that. Now, I know this was quite a lot of learning things, but backend is not like that. Now, this was the approach number one. Now, if you remember that I talked about the two approaches, the one in which I just tell you the things and you just walk your own things. Now, the approach number two is when I handle all of these things. So what I'm offering you is check out the description below and I have something awesome for you. Now, you can get started with in everything and anything that is possible in the back end, including the Firebase, complete login system, database interactivity and everything in the, the most modern era with React.js. Now, I'm not saying uh, that you need to buy this course. I'm just saying check this out. And in case you like that, then have some interaction there. At least check out what are the projects that we are about to build in here. There are 10 complete projects that we'll be building in here. Now, all you need to do is check out the link. And in case you liked it, you can talk about this. Now, on to a very sidebar. If you are living in India, you might be facing some problems in the payment gateway there because it just accepts credit card but a lot of Indian students are paying uh, with the different sources that you can ask me in the emails as well. And just have some interaction with me on the email and I'll definitely help you out with that as well. Now with this, I would like to also say that I'm looking and listening up to each and every comment in the YouTube section. So make sure if you have some question, you post it down in the comment section and I'll surely make up a video on that. I hope your programming friend is helping you a lot in here. And I really expect that you hit the subscribe button there, hit the like button if you think that this video was helpful. Now I'll surely catch you up in the next video and make sure that you put out some comment there and ask for other questions or just say thanks there. I'll catch you up there.